I'm going to show you how to do this really cool camera rotating effect in DaVinci Resolve. But first, you have to film it correctly. The first method of filming is just walking along the car as it drives. And honestly, that kind of looks like So the second way is the way to do it. What you'll want to do is set up your gimbal so it's in the 360 roll mode and you want to walk along with the car. Now there's two challenging things here. One is you have to make sure you set up the joystick on the actual gimbal to rotate as fast as possible. Because believe it or not, the wheel spins pretty quickly and you're trying to match the roll of the gimbal with the spin of the wheel. Now the second most challenging thing is keeping the damn camera centered on the wheel. It'll take you a few takes. It took me about three or four takes to actually get a decent shot. And also make sure to shoot in 60 frames per second because we're going to want to slow the footage down when we start editing. Time to jump into DaVinci Resolve. Also, make sure to shoot this shot really wide. I was using a 24 millimeter and you'll soon see why that is. Okay, so here I have a clip at 60 frames per second. My timeline is 29.97. The first thing you wanna do is right click on the clip and select Retime Controls. Then click on the drop down arrow and change the speed to 50%. Also, I've done my color grading on this as well. Now, right click on the clip and select New Fusion Clip, then select Fusion. Now scroll to the beginning of the clip. With the media in one selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in planar tracker. Select the planar tracker. Zoom in, then select points around the wheel of the car. Make sure to close the gap with the points. Over here on the right hand side, select set. We're gonna leave the tracker option at point and under motion type, click on the drop down and select translation and rotation. Then select track to end. When it's done tracking, come up here to the operation mode and you can select steady or stabilize. I'm going to select steady. Now the reason you wanna shoot this in 4K is because we're gonna to have to crop in. We don't wanna have any of these edges showing. So go ahead and add a transform node. Then with the transform node added after the planar tracker, go ahead and zoom this up. Now the reason I emphasize so much about keeping the wheel in the center of the frame is because the better you do that, the less you're gonna have to crop in using the transform tool. So you may have to zoom in quite a bit depending on how well you framed the shot. Now in the edit page, come up here to the effects and click on effects. Then click on adjustment clip. Drag the adjustment clip over the clip. Extend it to the entire length of the clip. And then over on the left hand side, I'm going to drag on my motion blur. That's going to make everything around the wheel look super nice and buttery. It'll make the motion blur look way more natural as well. Now, if you're wondering about this really cool distortion thing that you saw in the intro, that is my new Shockwave Distortion plugin, which you can actually get down in the description as well. It's one of my new favorite plugins that I use on a lot of my car videos. Once you download it, all you have to do is double click on it. It should show up over here under the effects. But first add an adjustment clip over the clip you want to do the effect on. Drag on the JF Shockwave Distortion to the adjustment clip. Over here on the right hand side, you have a ton of adjustments. You can change up the distortion detail. You can change up the contrast of the distortion basically. You can adjust the wave size. Then under wave amount, by default, it's just two waves, but I would highly suggest keeping this at two or three or four. You can also change the distortion strength. So you, this is where you can get really crazy with how it looks. And then last but not least, I've included a built-in tracker to this plugin. So check this out. If you come over here to the drop-down arrow over here and you click on Fusion Overlay, you'll see this little tracking box. Go ahead and drag that over the center of the wheel. Then you can either track to the beginning or track to the end. Then select OK. Over here under the center X and Y, right click on center and then select connect to tracker path position. Now, if you get rid of the fusion overlay, this effect is tracked to the center of the wheel. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy the plugins. I will see you in my next video.